Sports have a way of bringing us all together. And at Sleeper, we developed a fantasy platform designed to make leagues more fun and personal. Sleeper includes an integrated chat and every feature you could want for your NFL, NBA, and even eSport leagues. Plus, it's completely free with no ads. See why millions have made Sleeper the fastest-growing fantasy platform. Download Sleeper on the App Store or Google Play today. Sports have a way of bringing us all together. And at Sleeper, we developed a fantasy platform designed to make leagues more fun and personal. Sleeper includes an integrated chat and every feature you could want for your NFL, NBA, and even eSport leagues. Plus, it's completely free with no ads. See why millions have made Sleeper the fastest-growing fantasy platform. Download Sleeper on the App Store or Google Play today. Hello and welcome. Welcome. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. So hello, and I haven't done one of these for a few days. Uh, (laughs) That's it, really. That's that's the whole recording. There's nothing else to say. Haven't been around. I have been around. I just haven't been... I spent a lot of time in bed. Uh, including today actually, but less less today than previous days. Just haven't felt very well generally. But there you go. That's life as it was, as it is, as it has been, as it could be, as it may be. Life as we know it. So I do, you know, I had the occasional blip, the occasional, it's not even a rest really, just uh, sometimes I just have a lack of functioning, uh, a lack of an ability to function sometimes, which sounds a bit weird, but hey. It is what it is. And it's something. Oh. Something that just happens. And so I guess if I'm going to be candid, if I'm going to be honest, uh, yeah, bipolar. There you go, baby. Bipolar. It's the bipolar. Had uh, I have drops. I have. Not ear drops or eye drops. Although I do have some Optrex that I spray on my eyes. Uh, my eyes are closed when I do it. And the idea is to like soothe my eyes so I haven't got to itch them, scratch them, or, you know, sort of don't. Just to soothe my eyes. I quite like it. It's almost like a cold flannel. But nothing like a cold flannel. An icy, an ice pack. Icy ice pack? It's cooling, but refreshing, but not stinging cool, not stinging cold. Um, yeah. Uh. I don't talk much about the old uh, bipolar. Generally because it's it's hard to make it I mean you (laughs) it's hard to hard to take you know I like to try and keep things light and you know mildly amusing at times and not too serious so you know occasionally I will you know if if you go through the back catalogue of recordings I've done or I've done there are a few ones where I do talk about my life and my uh, 
less light-hearted things that have happened. So, <clears throat> this that's a, eh. this is going to be just a mixture, I guess. I, I wasn't in, even intending on talking about bipolar, but there you go. I'll give you a, I'll give you an idea of where I am now with it, <laughs> or where I am now. I was, to be honest, the losing Andre has had. Oh bloody! I'm still talking about that bloody ferret. Losing Andre uh, was something that um, I couldn't really deal with. If I'm honest, I haven't dealt with it very well. Um, still, uh, you could say, well, it's been two months now. Yeah. And you know what? I don't get flashbacks about anything, really, that happened in my life. I don't get... Occasionally, I get a few, you know, I have done in the past. But these days, I don't really get flashbacks. But all I can see, I keep getting flashbacks of the last time I saw Andre. Just lying there, looking at me. And, um, yeah, I just, this is almost like that picture is imprinted in my brain. So, uh, just try to struggle a little bit with that. <clears throat> I start crying. I'm not, I'm not, don't worry. But, yeah, just, just so you know what's going on. It's just, uh, I think what it is, is, Again, it, it sounds weird, really, saying it out loud, but Andre was the first person that I loved, like, in that way. Um, I loved him more than I've ever loved anyone in my life. There is, I guess, you know, it's, I was with him, you know, for six years, every single day most of the time for six years nearly and just just loved him to bits and it's just weird just yeah it feels a bit sad though like blimey to be 50 and I've only really had been able to love an animal not to be able to do that with a human I loved my nan but it was a different totally different kind of love it was um, yeah very different and I think even when my nan passed she was 95 or something like that and there was a kind of a logic, kind of, uh, I saw her getting older and frailer, and I knew that she wasn't long for the world, and so did she, and it was almost, I think 50% of the, of the bereavement was done before she even died, really, I think, in a sense, of acceptance. I didn't... I didn't feel it really made it any easier but it was also almost because something we discussed and she talked about it and she she was very upfront and accepting with it and I think that made it a little bit easier you know after the event itself I mean during the event funeral and stuff I was a mess but afterwards I was like okay well she wanted to go. She, you know, she didn't want to stick around anymore. So she got what she wanted, and she, you know, I did. I get got to talk to her, and I saw her before she left, and you know, all that stuff. But don't worry, I'll do a funny. I'll do some funny noises in a minute. I'll fart or something and try and break the ice. Bloody hell! Talking about two dead people. This isn't fun.
Yeah. Well, that's just where I've been anyway. That's where I've been the last few days. Not felt very good. Um, but it happens. It's happened all my life. You know, I go through periods where unmedicated it can last for weeks and months but medicated it still happens but it might only last for a day it might only last for an evening a feeling of hopelessness and you know whatever it might literally just be the evening and I'm, or I'm fine the next day I just gotta go to sleep sometimes it's the only thing that I can do Sometimes it lasts for a few days, and sometimes it's not as bad. It's, it's not as intense as that one evening. It might be like half the intensity, but it lasts for maybe a week or four days or something. And then I get a little bit of an energy boost because during that period, there's no energy. I've got no energy. You know, just getting up, going to the toilet, getting food, whatever. It's just a chore. A chore to I'm sitting here hungry but the idea of getting up and walking to the kitchen and I don't live in a mansion it's not it's not a long journey to the kitchen it's probably about 10 footsteps one two three four five six yeah probably six six footsteps to the kitchen probably from here And I end up eating breakfast cereal instead of cooking anything because it's easier. But it's not fulfilling, doesn't, you know, breakfast cereal is not, not a meal. It seems to do okay for the when I first wake up in the morning. But during the day, it doesn't, doesn't do the job at all. At all. Hmm. I remember when I was 16... I used to live in a flat above the chip shop and I would work all week so sort of Monday to Saturday and then I would have Sunday off because it was closed on Sundays and I'd have so much energy during the week I'd work hard I'd you know I'd okay probably my boss would uh, disagree with that but I did I did work hard and I, on a Sunday, I'd get up, go to the newsagents, get two newspapers to read while I was having my breakfast, have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, I don't know, breakfast cereal, read the newspapers and then lay down and go to sleep. And I would spend pretty much all day in bed. But not in a kind of relaxed way, but in a real stressed, almost as if I collapsed. Um, a bit like how I've been the last few days. Just I, And I did it nearly every Sunday. I'd put on a pretend, pretend, um, not about happiness, because I used to get told I was miserable quite a lot of the time but I'd you know I'd force myself to, to go to work force myself to turn up and everything like that even though I wasn't perhaps well and then Sunday I'd collapse I just just completely uh, and I didn't know what was going on it's very weird <laughs> very very strange and I'd be hungry again like well like I am now actually but and I'd be waiting, like, I want to eat. And it'd be strange. Such a strange feeling because I didn't have that when I was a kid. When I was at school, um, I don't think I had that. I was, because, you know, I'd get fed, get food cooked for me. Um, go to bed quite early, get up early for paper round or get up for school, um, do karate in the evenings or go to 
sea cadets when I was even younger. So I was always fairly active. Always had part-time jobs. But I guess that's just the benefit of being a kid. That excess energy, that energy that just always seems to be there. So I was quite quite lucky to be able to use it. Although I used to find myself get tired in school during school lessons I just find myself falling asleep because it was so boring now no offence to the teachers but they really were pathetic no no, no offence to the teachers they just didn't most of the teachers didn't um, I didn't find their way of teaching useful to me is that a nice way to put it didn't yeah I didn't really didn't really mm, you know didn't really nah, not at all so a lack of stimulation I'd like to say well I was under stimulated because I was uh, so highly intelligent that uh, every, everyone was moving too slow for me but that really wasn't the case um, I was the slowest. I was I was just bored because I wasn't interested, and I can only I can't fake interest. I can. I mean, I have I have had relationships, but I struggle a little bit, and as I'm getting older, I can't be bothered to fake interest in in anything that I'm not interested in you know I'll talk about the weather because I'm interested in the weather because the weather's gone so weird lately like really you know floods like everywhere apart from where I live not the country but just my little area we had floods in London in Stratford Station where I used to live no, I didn't live in a train station. But it was like, wow. Floods in Leytonstone, floods in East London, West London, North London, South London. Parts of, you know, places not far from here. But not here. I actually live in a part of the country which has one of the lowest rainfalls of the entire country how good is that it doesn't feel like it in the winter it feels like you know it's always raining but it's not it really isn't here's something I was quite surprised about the sunrise in the UK, I thought it was just sunrise, um, the same time for everyone. It's not. It's different times depending on where you live in the UK. In if you're in Scotland, Wales, so I'm talking about this plot of land, this island, England, Scotland, Wales, not anywhere else, because they'll other parts of the UK could be different part of the world pretty much out of white it's miles away so you got um, different times and you know what sunrise is an hour an hour an hour later than a month ago An hour. Just in one month, an hour. Let me repeat that, an hour. So sunrise is something like eight minutes past six in the morning. A month ago, eight minutes past five. A month before that, probably eight minutes past four. 
or four o'clock, something like that. I mean, I literally, I woke up this morning. Do 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 do. Put my slippers on. Do 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 do. I went to the toilet. Do 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 do. Took my slippers off. Do 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 do. Run the bath. Do 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 do. Put my slippers back on. Do do do. Basically, it's like my it's slippers. I just love my slippers. Um, I know. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, I woke up this morning and um, looked outside. I thought, blimey, it's only about three o'clock. It wasn't, it was half five. Crazy. Because it only seems a few hours, well, a few days ago that it was four o'clock and it was light outside. I mean, wow. You know what I mean? So we've had the longest day already. I think we now have 17... 17 hours long is the day now. 18 hours. Something like that. It's dark by about 9. Yeah, so it's nine hours. So nine hours. So eight, sixteen, fifteen hours in the day. About fifteen hours of daylight. That was a part belch then. Fifteen hours. So yeah, I'll just... Uh, I don't know why I'm sharing that information with you. It seemed like the right thing to do at the time. At the time. Do, 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 do. What I've been doing, actually, I've been updating the website. I've been doing, as I couldn't be bothered to make any recordings, I wanted to at least try and do something. So today, carried on from a few days ago where I've been uploading I've been making changes making all the podcasts that you can download for free making sure that's free and I've been playing I played around with it a couple of months ago and made them 199 each but I don't want any money I don't want to charge for anything I want everything to be free that was the whole point of what I do um for it to be a free service it has to stay free so that's it so everything's back to how it was I've also um, yeah made some changes to the podcast and added the uh, information for the music the background music it took me a few hours so I've just done so many recordings and I just I get behind. Um, I've even I'm a little bit behind on some of the the ones as far as the pictures. So I need to make some pictures up for my previous podcasts. Probably the last four or five. I'll do that tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, do it tomorrow, I think. It is weird though, you know, it's this big part of me just wants to go and lay down and go to sleep. What's that even going to a comp going to? <laughs> that was weird. What's that going to accomplish? What's that going to accomplish? Going, going to. I wonder why I said that like that. Going to. What's it going to accomplish? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll just stop being silly. 
believe. What's it going to accomplish me going to sleep, going laying down on the bed? I had my jab a couple of days ago. Well, it's last. It's nearly a week ago now. Last Wednesday, I think it was, or was it Tuesday? Tuesday or Wednesday? So Monday, Tuesday, yeah, Wednesday. Had my second jab. Still got a little bit of a sore arm, just a little bit achy. That's all, achy, shaky arm. And that's it. That's fine. The stats for the podcast has been low because I've not been making any recordings hardly. Um, and if it stays like it is, even if I only do one every now and then, I'm still going to reach a million downloads a year. So that's quite good, but it's not, not good for people that would like to have more than, you know, two, two or three recordings a week. And I need to need to be doing that a day really to keep up with the different podcasts all that I have the I really need to be doing one a day for at least at least one a day for the let me boy to sleep deep sleep whisper and relax and sleep daily it needs to be three recordings every day for those Oh, one, one for each, rather. One for each podcast, so three, three a day. But, you know, unless I did some, had some kind of, did some for the future. So maybe did a, did a bunch and just had them there. So for the days that I can't, or just won't. I refuse to make a recording. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you have something spare. I could just like a like a little mixtape. I used to do that when I was a DJ. I used to have a a mix, like a mix CD, where it would be. Yeah, mixed hits, uh, 80s, 90s, uh, maybe just disco, maybe Ministry of Sound, that kind of stuff. And if I wanted to go to the toilet or just have a break for 15 minutes, I'd stick that on. And no one noticed. <laughs> no one noticed I wasn't there. Um, but I didn't leave it on there. Uh, unless it was like only three people in the audience and the staff wanted to shut down what they would do is say, tell me to put the put a, mix, a mixed disc on and hopefully they'll leave because the staff didn't like it when there was no customers you know so like half past one they wanted to go home and the customers would be like five people dancing around there Or chocolate or whatever it was they were dancing around. More wham! More wham! Dancing Queen! Can we have Dancing Queen? Come on, Eileen! Come on, Eileen! I still. I, I, I always remember. There's certain songs which the very beginning, the very, very start, the first few chords of the music gets a huge cheer. Uh, I'm going to list them. Shall I list them to you? Let's have a look. Wham, wake me up before you go, go. Come on, Eileen. Dancing Queen by ABBA. I will survive. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm trying to 
think what other ones? Staying alive, uh, Bee Gees. I'm a Barbie girl, or Barbie girl. That used to be quite popular, but you know, going back to the late nineties, early two thousands. I'm not sure if it'd have the same effect now, but it was quite popular at the time because it was funny I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world wrapped in plastic it's fantastic you can brush my hair undress me anywhere it's weird that I still remember those words <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what other songs at first I was afraid I was petrified like the man hating song. Ah, oh, we hate men too. Oh. Yeah, it used to be very popular in that song. I will survive. I hate you. I hate you. No, I hate all men. I will survive. That is a very upbeat song. It's a great song. Um, what other songs? Because it used to be for women. I used to cater for the women. Always cater for women. If, if the women are happy, then the men should generally be happy. Unless, of course, it's a gay bar, then it's a different situation. Because it's generally the women that dance. That's a cliche. I don't care. That's how, that's how it was where I was, anyway. It might not be the same everywhere, but obviously, it's not going to be the same everywhere. But where I was, it was the women that danced and the men maybe would get up in order to talk to the women. We had dance with the women. And then couples would get up and stuff, but dancing queen. Like, dancing queen. Trying to think what other songs, blimey. So there was quite a lot of good dance music in the late 90s. Sort of, um, there was a lot of dance music in the charts. Everybody's free to feel good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. There was, and it was good music. Well, it was good. I liked it. Not always been a real big fan of dance music, but I liked that. Probably because I was playing it, I kind of got used to it, maybe. I had my finger on the pulse a little bit with music for those four years because I needed to know what was in the charts and what was doing well and stuff, you know, but... But it's, it's, it, it was very much a disco, like a wedding disco. I was, I provided a, like a really, a discount wedding disco. That was me. And the staff in the club hated it because you know they were hearing the same stuff every week, and um, even my boss. And I, I tried to explain, yeah, you're hearing the same stuff every week, but the customers aren't. The customers aren't here every week. It's a new bunch of people. This is two hundred new people, and yeah, they might come back every now and then, but maybe twice a year. So even if they hear the same songs, 
they're drunk probably by that time by the time disco starts at 12 they're going to be drunk or at least tipsy they're not going to remember what songs were played but the staff couldn't get that in their head they couldn't couldn't grasp the idea that the disco and the music wasn't for the staff it was for the customers oh you play the same crap every yeah and the comedians tell the same jokes and the audience laughs and we know the we, you can actually uh, see the comedians early in the evening and a lot of the staff you could, you'd know their act you'd know the comedians act practically word for word because it's, I'd see them maybe 20 times a year and I'd know their act and they'd be on like Friday, Saturday night and then they'd be on maybe in a mu- the next month Friday, so, you know, so maybe every month they'd be on twice, two nights some would see maybe ten times a year so maybe on every two months do a weekend but you just get to know their act get to know their jokes and I can't remember any of the jokes now but it just it's almost you know it's like say so, well tell the comedian to stop telling the same jokes no because that's what they do a lot of them do will go and tell the same jokes but they get a good response because it's a different audience if it was the same audience they're not going to do very well they're only going to do it maybe once maybe twice if the people are drunk the first time happened to me once I went to a gig and this they said heard that do a different joke do one we haven't heard before so blimey trust my luck to have the same bunch of people as last time I don't know I mean I'm not going to assume they came to see me but but probably no (laughs) no trust me but I guess they were regulars they were there every week or whatever but it's like blimey but I turned it I I made a joke of it and it was it went quite well that's my version of the story (laughs) no I wonder what that'd be like I wonder if I'd have if I'd have stuck at it stuck at it I wonder if I'd have ever had any success it's hard to know isn't it in reality it's hard to know because it's such a weird weird kind of career being a comedian in some ways I think it's probably one of the greatest careers to have in a sense of you know you got your own boss you get to travel possibly the world you know depending on how well you do and you know what kind of gigs you can get but I know people that have traveled to Canada to South Africa Mexico, France, um, Scotland, uh, all kinds of places, as well as like nearly every part of the UK. Uh, so there's a lot of comedians that have never, they're not made it big on television, but they earn a lot of money. You know, they're touring, uh, they go on, you know, they do do gigs all over the country and maybe earn £500, maybe a grand for the weekend. So, yeah, it's, I reckon there's some, a lot of comedians that are earning like 60, 70 grand a year, maybe if not more. And you'll never hear of them. You'll never, never know who they are. You're never, never gonna. You'll never see them on telly, or maybe you'll hear them on the radio. 
maybe you'll see them on YouTube or whatever or maybe you see them at a comedy club but there's loads of comedians but there's also some comedians that because of the COVID stuff and comedy clubs being shut down some comedians have had to go and get jobs like delivery jobs delivery stuff and working and in a not to <laughs> trust me being a, being a stand up comedian is hard work it's not easy so it is work especially when you consider not many people can do it it's a very tiny tiny percentage of the population has the actually it's not even telling jokes or being funny of course you need to be able to do that because otherwise you won't have a career but just getting on stage and talking into a microphone is something that most people don't seem to be able to do or don't seem to have the confidence to do I remember it was I think it was about 2000 and my friend said can you get on stage and announce that there's a car blocking the car park and just he handed me a piece of paper with the registration number on and the type of car it was and this was during this is before the comedy started so the place is full 200 people there all eating their dinner or whatever it's quite noisy I actually got I was nervous can you believe it I was actually nervous getting onto the stage and talking into the microphone after sort of all those years of getting on stage and performing um, as well as the numerous times I did karaoke as well but karaoke is a very different thing it's a uh, I could sing so I felt a lot more confident with karaoke because I, I knew that I could I was never going to get booed off the stage singing so that was something that I had a little bit of um, I felt okay about I might not have sung the way that everyone wanted me to sing, but I could hold a song in my palms and let it trickle down onto the floor like honey. I don't know what that means. Let it trickle down onto the floor. That's weird. Is it Tuesday, Wednesday? Okay, two more days. Tuesday, Wednesday, then it's Thursday again. Yeah, yeah. Then it's Thursday again. I do think about the future and I think, oh, oh. You know what I mean? I just think, oh. What is this future thing? What is this? What is this? What's going to happen? What's going to happen in the future? And I just don't know what to say. I just don't know. What's going to happen? Is anything going to happen? Something might happen. Let's go. Something is bound to happen. But I don't know. I think, well, what am I going to do? Is this? I don't know. Is, is this my final destination? Is this? Is this me? Is this now? Okay, I'll just stay here till I retire. You know, it's like, oh, no, don't don't want to do that. Don't know what I want to do, but I'd like to. Uh, the idea of going to Thailand is starting to lose its appeal because they're in a right state over there. It's 
the I mean they're not being looked after by their own people the government are not looking after them there's I don't know charities or individuals quite a few youtubers actually are giving away food and so donating food they park their car on the promenade and they maybe have a hundred meals and I mean probably thousands of people start running towards the car and then they all queue up really neatly in twos not into like one but like in two different queues sit on the floor or stand up depending and they just wait and the queues are too long and then someone else pulls up further up and everyone starts running towards that one this is a lot of people a lot of young women with children as well as disabled uh, men and women elderly what makes it weird perhaps it shouldn't perhaps it shouldn't make it weird but in the backdrop is a beautiful beach and a beautiful sea and a beautiful sky palm trees or whatever they have over there and all these people just queuing for food because they've got no money and they're hungry and I just I partly kind of thought well I'd like to go out there and just buy food for people and ask listeners to the podcast and to I'll film it as well on a YouTube channel and ask people to just donate money so that I can buy food for people out there and give it away but it's, it looks like an endless task almost just because you feed them now they're going to be hungry again in what four hours five hours so where are they going to get fed then So the only solution is to open it up again to tourists. But they haven't. I think they've closed down pretty much everything. Even though they allow people in, I think now, they've closed down pretty much every business in parts of Thailand, like Pattaya, um, places like that. Everything's kind of pretty much closed some stuff's open but a lot of it's closed so yeah I don't know kind of gone off going there now because unless I could give people food I wouldn't want to be there you know I wouldn't want to be there eating because you have Imagine you have to like hide your sandwich every time you you can't get on the beach. Just like just like find somewhere really quiet where there's no one around, so you can actually eat. <laughs> this, this sounds terrible, doesn't it? I'm joking, but you know, it's I'd feel guilty eating if other people didn't have any food. strange isn't it but unless I make some changes unless I make some changes and start to do something maybe I need to make a new podcast I don't know I 
I get I sometimes get a little bit bored with doing the same thing over and over again. Um, I like to do different things. Um, mix things up a bit. I mean the relax and stress, relax, relax and sleep hypnosis daily used to be sleep hypnosis weekly I changed the title because it was gaining in popularity and I wanted to do more regular recordings so I need to do those regularly but I wonder what can I do what can I do different and I started to go through the transcriptions. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I, I've got a transcription service that I'm in, um, subscribed to and I pay monthly, but I have to wait till the 8th of August before I can use it again. But I did transcribe quite a few of the relaxation uh, and stress relaxation hypnosis of stress anxiety podcast I transcribed over a hundred of those but it needs me to do work on each one of them to change it and make it a bit more I was going to say palatable but just just to make it correct Because although I, I want to write how I read, how I speak rather, I don't always speak in a way that's readable. You know, there's, well, you know, exactly, you, not you know, but can't have you know in a, in a book. Because it's not very good grammatical, 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 grammatical. Grammatical, gram, gram, doesn't flow. So, <laughs> doesn't doesn't flow off the page. You get me? In it, mm, um, ah, oh, oh, yeah, mm, mm, yeah, and so yeah, it's it's just trying to make it a bit more fluid. bit more approachable a bit more readable so that's that's what I'm kind of trying to aim for so I guess I could if I get into that I might actually enjoy doing that <laughs> although I started doing it and I got bored because it's very focused work yeah it's very very focused and it's weird reading myself as well. I'm used to hearing myself because I know exactly what I sound like when I talk because I've listened to my voice thousands and thousands of times. So I know. Uh, apparently most people don't know what they sound like. But, and they sound different when they hear their voice to how they sound to themselves when they're talking. Well, I sound exactly the same um, to myself when I'm talking out loud as I do on the actual recording which is weird it might sound weird but I've tuned my ears into being aware of how I sound I don't know if there's any benefit whatsoever to that, but at least I can, at least I know pretty much what I'm going to sound like when a recording comes. You know, when I, when I finish the recording and I listen, I listen back, I know pretty much 
what I'm going to hear. So sometimes when I go, like early when I was like, shh, shh, and I kind of stuttered a bit. Um, if I can see it, because it's like, I was about 20 minutes in. I might try and delete that. Snotty nose, yum yum. Nutty nose, big fat toes. Was it Monday today? Monday the 26th of July, 2021. I'm going to try to make one of these every day. I'm going to try, try my very, very best to do one of these. I'd like to do a few, you know, do a few more. I don't know. Do something a bit different. Do something a bit different. So that's what I'm going to plan. I mean, I've got some weird books that I can read out of and some facts and stuff like that. So maybe... Maybe tomorrow I could do one where I talk about the Olympics and some of the Olympic. I heard someone earlier today talking about apparently one of the <laughs> one of the one of the Olympic sports that you can enter enter for. You know, in about 1920, was jumping on and off a table. So, e I mean, the th without moaning, the TV is a right, right hash up of the Olympics. They've ruined it. It's, it's rubbish. The coverage is really, really bad. Because you never know when it's going to be on. You never know what's going to be on, when it's going to be on. They show more than one event at the same time. Or they show one event, one another event. In fact, more than one event is being held at the same time. So it's actually impossible to follow. Really. Uh, I think the only way, even if he was there, it'd be hard to follow the whole thing. Even if it was just one sport that you're interested in. And I think with the TV, they do focus a lot on swimming and the, the things that English or British... Um, sportsmen often get medals for horse riding or the things that we really 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 excel at constantly year in year out well every four years but the things are is it canoeing or boat riding I don't know whatever rowing so rowing um, bicycle riding and we're pretty good at swimming as well we've just had a I think the most the, the person with the most medals ever we've got in, in this country I forget his name But most years we get medals in boxing. And we do, I think we do pretty well at most things. Gymnastics. Hard to compete against China and maybe Russia when it comes to some of those certain sports or 
uh, athletics, athletic scissors because they, they really put everything into training them up from an early age like China and it's like national pride isn't it for China and for Russia and stuff um, I don't know how well I think America is quite up there as well I think with gymnastics I don't know I, I watch it sometimes it's I mean I'm not really into it but it's it is amazing I just can't imagine myself being able to do that if I'm just imagine <laughs> imagining myself on the mat doing lots of somersaults and Imagine doing the, the final somersault and then landing and just filling the whole the whole room with dust you know the whole stadium everyone's like coughing all of you have to leave they're coughing because there's so much dust because I'm so heavy what if the building just fell down wow Oh well, it's good to dream. <laughs> it's good to dream. <laughs> I do want to watch the boxing. It's weird because this year, again, like the Europe, the European football title. Europa, whatever they call it, I don't know. Um, 2020, even though they're doing it this year. The Olympics, 2020. It's not, it's 2021. Or 2021. Why, did, why don't just change your name to what it is? Like we're almost going to forget. You know, do they think they're going to get confused? So in 2024, they're going to come to do it and say, wait a minute, no, it's only three years ago we did it. Can't have another one. It's got to be 2025. Like, they'll, I can't remember why, but that's weird. It's confused us. Uh, no. I think they just didn't want to change their banners. They're very lazy. Change it to 21. That's the year. This is going to be confusing for people 200 years from now. That's it, really. That's it, mate. Yeah, that's all there is. Yeah. Well, I'm going to figure out what I can eat. I need to eat something. So. <sighs> Remember to be kind to yourself. You deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye, bye, bye.
Thank mm -hmm. you.